chops. And again, the overhand elbow from the Englishman. Elbow. Downward elbow, oh. downward elbow, oh. downward elbow. He cracked him a beauty. Pierces. Nice push kick. What a shot landed by Jonathan Haggerty. Bombs. Yet I haven't really seen Haggerty start to utilize that clinch yet to close that distance. Oh, oh, the big kibosh. Back over there. Beautifully. Three. When it comes to UK combat sports, one name from this region has often been overlooked, Jonathan Haggerty. This Brit has become a sensation, dominating the Asian territory with his specialized skills and emerging as one of the most popular rising stars. At just 26 years old, he's already a three-time Muay Thai world champion and has excelled in one championship where he is the reigning bantamweight Muay Thai and kickboxing world champion. Haggerty is considered to be one of the best British Muay Thai fighters of his generation after beating some of the best fighters in the world. Eager for more challenges, he's set his sights on MMA. Many believe he might be headed for the UFC. Let's recount the journey of the British-born Muay Thai phenom. Following in his father's footsteps, Jonathan Haggerty entered the world of Muay Thai at the age of seven. Growing up in the perfect environment for combat, his natural talents flourished during his teenage years. At just 16 years old, Haggerty made a bold move by turning professional. Despite his youth, he faced seasoned adult opponents with confidence, unleashing his full potential in the ring. His skills were evident right from the start as he launched precise assaults on his opponents, leading to a series of impressive knockouts. Haggerty quickly climbed the ranks, earning his first shot at a world title against Gary Bavetta. After knocking down his more experienced opponent in the third round, Bavetta wanted no more of the punishment and threw in the towel. Dan elbowed himself! Oh! Right elbow, left elbow! Right elbow! Right elbow! is a pool of blood. Everybody is on their feet. A true fighter at heart, Haggerty embraced challenges instead of seeking easy wins. Although he faced a setback with his first career loss against Thailand's Ja Kid Fontip, Haggerty quickly bounced back with a second round knockout of Keith McLaughlin. Haggerty again throws another high kick and it's over. Wow, I have never seen anyone do that. Capitalizing on another opportunity for a world title, Haggerty showcased his mastery, claiming the WBC Muay Thai Super Featherweight International title with a TKO of Isaac Araya. Beyond his impressive switch kicks and slicing elbows, Haggerty's exceptional fight IQ and strategic approach earned him the nickname The General. By the age of 20, Haggerty had already secured three world titles, solidifying his reputation as a formidable force in his homeland. Eager to leave his mark on the global stage, he signed with one championship. Asia's largest combat sports promotion in 2019. His debut fight welcomed him to the One Championship Arena against the future champion, Joseph Lassiri. This could get nasty. A beautiful take to open up there from Haggerty and another take to the midsection of the Italian. In this fight, Haggerty showcased what would become his signature move, the tomahawk elbow. Right from the start, he used his diverse kicking arsenal to disrupt his opponent's rhythm. A powerful elbow strike sent Lassiri crashing to the canvas, but he quickly rose to his feet. Haggerty continued to dominate in the second round, unleashing a barrage of kicks and elbow strikes. Despite enduring significant punishment, Lassiri managed to find some success later in the round, gaining momentum. As the fight progressed, both fighters showed ferocity, trading blows until the last bell. However, it was evident that Haggerty had outperformed his opponent, earning himself the win. Haggerty! 
Haggerty continued his fearless approach to challenges in one championship. In just his second bout, he stepped into the ring against one of Muay Thai's legends and his childhood idol, Sam A., who boasted an impressive record of over 350 wins. Known for his lethal counterpunching, the Thai warrior was feared for his ability to end fights quickly. Having only 15 fights under his belt, Haggerty was considered a massive underdog in his matchup, with nobody giving him a chance. However, not only did he defy the odds, but he also did so in a spectacular manner, shocking the entire Muay Thai world. With his powerful kicks, Haggerty looked to take control of the fight, but the champion aimed for the body, seeking to slow down the bread. This is what Sam A has to do. He has to shift up. He has to turn on the pressure on. He has to keep the pressure on Jonathan Haggerty. Haggerty landed his signature tomahawk, but ate a few elbows in return. Finding some success with boxing, he increased his punching output. Midway through the fight, and the champion found himself on the canvas. Of Jonathan Haggerty. Nice body shot. I just slipped a little bit there. Oh, he definitely scores referee. it as a knockdown. Quickly back on his feet, and the elbows started to fly, resulting in a bloody battle. Unwilling to relinquish the title, Sam A picked up the pace in the fourth. The challenger dug deep, but couldn't fend off the onslaught, which continued to the break. In the final, Haggerty upped the game. Nice skip, knee into the punch, lands it! Jonathan Haggerty with another knockdown. A switch knee followed by a straight right, getting his second knockdown. Sam A responded with a counterattack, but in the end, the judges saw things in Haggerty's favor. Just two bouts, Haggerty claimed the championship belt. New one Super Series Lightweight World Champion! With aspirations of becoming the world's best, Haggerty challenged Rod Tang, one of Muay Thai's toughest competitors. Rod Tang's reputation preceded him. He started fighting at eight and had already racked up over 200 wins by the age of 22. Despite his brute force, some underestimated Rod Tang's technical prowess, but he proved them wrong every time he stepped into the ring. Haggerty started the fight strong, using his reach and front kicks to keep Rod Tang at a distance. In the second round, he continued probing for a break in Rod Tang's defenses. Fly there from Haggerty. Well, he's starting to evade a lot of these kicks now. He's moving his head a lot better, getting out of the way of these. Rateng started to counter and employed his legs. Haggerty answered with a couple of tomahawk elbows and won the round, but it looked as though Rateng was just warming up. In the third, Haggerty realized why Rateng translates to tank, a solid head kick seemingly having no effect on his opponent. Knockdown changed it though. They could change it. Beautiful evasion there from Rod Tang. Pouring it on. Rod Tang unleashed a barrage of punches like a raging bull, a couple of shots to the liver, slowing Haggerty's momentum. Facing a foe unlike any he'd faced before, Haggerty's warrior spirit refused to waver, leading to intense exchanges between the two fighters. In the fourth round, Rod Tang intensified his attack, focusing on Haggerty's liver and then shifting to his upper body. A couple of powerful hooks sent Haggerty crashing to the canvas. Nevertheless, Haggerty showed true grit, standing tall until the final bell. It was a close fight, but the knockdown was enough to secure Rod Tang the title. Haggerty needs to find a way to cut him. Needs to find a way to open him up with the elbows now. Oh, it drops him! The big kibosh! And Haggerty goes down! The first fight left many unanswered questions, prompting the promotion to set up a rematch. Right from the start, Haggerty stuck to his usual game plan, using his reach and maintaining distance. Unlike their first encounter, Rod Tang wasted no time unleashing his attack, catching Haggerty off guard and dropping him in the first round with a body shot. After getting back to his feet, both fighters continued to trade sharp blows to the end of the round. Rod Tang, having already found Haggerty's weak spot, began targeting his liver. Despite the relentless assault, Haggerty showed great determination and never backed down, staging counter assaults when possible. Trying to get inside the phone booth to land the liver shot again. Haggerty back to Orthodox stars, Rod Tang. 
goes to the liver. The tenacious Rod Tang barely noticed the incoming attacks, showing acrobatic skills and chasing his opponent around the ring before eventually cornering him. The general got back into battle. His spirit was unshakable, but his body was at its limit, and Rod Tang proved to be too much to handle. A year later, Haggerty faced off against the unpredictable Japanese striker, Taiki Naito. Naito managed to survive three rounds, but he was no match for the Brit. Haggerty showed him an evolved version of himself, dominated Naito with superior technicality, scoring knockdowns in both the first and second rounds. And I haven't really seen Haggerty start to utilize that clinch yet to close that distance. After securing two victories, Haggerty moved up from flyweight to bantamweight and fought against the highly skilled Russian fighter Vladimir Kuzmin for the number one contender spot of the bantamweight title. Known for his strategic approach, Kuzmin, a Russian national champion, held an impressive 18-2 professional record. Both fighters showcased their skills in a spirited exchange, displaying mutual respect for each other's abilities. After three rounds of intense back-and-forth action, in a closely contested fight, Haggerty emerged victorious by split decision. Declaring your winner by majority decision, Jonathan Haggerty! In April 2023, Haggerty geared up to challenge the reigning one bantamweight Muay Thai world champion, Nong O, oh, a legendary figure in the world of Muay Thai since the mid 90s. Nong O oh had firmly held the 145-pound division crown since the birth of one championship, boasting an unbeaten streak for eight solid years, knocking out the previous five contenders. Most thought Haggerty had little to no chance of beating Nong O, oh, yet as he's always done in his career, Haggerty faced the challenge head-on, showing no fear and backing himself all the way. What followed was nothing short of a jaw-dropping twist in the story. Early in the first round, Haggerty capitalized on a caught kick before receiving several low kicks in return. Finding success with boxing, Nong O oh was forced to take a seat, getting up clearly wobbled. The kick missed, and it came right back in with that low kick. Oh, oh, goes Nong O! Oh. He's wobbled. He's wobbled. He is in trouble. Haggerty gave him no time to recover, and it didn't take long before Nong O oh was down again. Can he beat the count? Sensing the end, the general was eager to finish the fight and did so moments later in spectacular fashion. Haggerty produced one of the biggest upsets of all time and in less than a round securing the championship belt. Undisputed, one bantamweight Muay Thai champion of the world! After his victory over Nong O, oh, Haggerty received an offer to compete for the vacant kickboxing title, a chance to make history. Like in K1, the rule set implied the use of larger gloves while prohibiting elbow strikes, sweeps, and clinch work to a minimum. It was a momentous occasion in the making as a two-sport world champion was on the verge of being crowned, setting the stage for an electrifying showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event at one! Fight night 16, please make some noise! His opponent, the reigning one MMA champion Fabricio Andrade, who had recently defeated UFC veteran John Lineker, Andrade, a seasoned competitor, had already dabbled in Muay Thai and kickboxing before focusing MMA. A 5-0 record including three consecutive highlight reel knockouts announcing his intentions. Uh, for sure, when he's bone. No. I told him once he uh once I win the kickboxing belt and beat him, I want his MMA belt. I mean if there's a few ladders I have to step, then I will. I'm definitely coming for him. One million percent. As the fight began, Haggerty wasted no time getting down to business, displaying his impressive speed and skillful combinations. Despite Andrade's determination to advance and apply pressure, Haggerty continued to dominate him, leaving the Wonder Boy struggling to find a response. 
Midway through the second round, Haggerty delivered a powerful head kick that landed cleanly and sent Andrade staggering. Andrade goes forward. Back comes Cody. Oh, he wanted it. Andrade. Andrade's hurt. A right hand for Haggerty. He wanted to only buckle Andrade. Sensing an opportunity, the general pressed forward, unleashing a relentless series of attacks that forced Andrade to retreat. Ultimately, Andrade couldn't withstand the relentless assault. Haggerty's victory marked another stunning performance, earning him a second belt and a spot in the elite club of two sport world champions. Started to circle off. He's still in danger, though. Andrade still seems hurt. Can Haggerty pour it on again? Haggerty made it crystal clear that he wasn't about to pump the brakes anytime soon, and he was going after Andrade's MMA title belt. However, this move had to be put on hold due to a long line of contenders eyeing his Muay Thai title. Leading the pack was Brazil's Felipe Lobo, also known as Demolition Man. Lobo had established himself as an elite striker, competing against some of the best fighters, including a recent win over Siamapech, earning him a shot at the division gold against Haggerty. Their fight kicked off with a powerful cross from Haggerty, followed by a series of low kicks. However, the general was caught off guard as Lobo came out swinging. Sensing his challenger was in trouble, the Brazilian charged forward to pour it on. Haggerty did his best to fight back, but Lobo, looking to finish, launched a relentless series of punches, leaving Haggerty reeling against the ropes. Clearly dazed, Haggerty refused to stay down and managed to weather the storm for the remainder of the round. In round two, Haggerty attempted to create some distance with his front leg, but after getting clobbered again, resorted to one-twos, resulting in a fierce exchange of punches. With the challenger's consciousness hanging by a thread, Haggerty got his chance to even the knockdown score, charging forward, throwing powerful punches. Both fighters continued to trade blows fiercely until the bell rang, showcasing a chaotic battle. As they entered the third round, both men needed a moment to catch their breath after the intense second round. However, it was Haggerty who quickly regained his momentum. At the 40-second mark, the 26-year-old unleashed a massive right hand, sending Lobo tumbling to the canvas. The Brazilian was barely able to get up, forcing the referee to call an end to the fight. Seven minutes of madness and one of the best battles in one championship history featured several shifts in momentum, mutual knockdowns, and produced a highlight reel for the ages. The general trying to frame off, looking to counter. Lobo looks to come forward to put hands on Haggerty. Jonathan Haggerty shines bright among a new generation of warriors. He's like a magnet for challenges, always ready to take on the best the sport has to offer. Many of his idols have turned into rivals that he's defeated along the way. Starting his journey in Britain, he quickly rose through the ranks in Europe before transitioning to the Asian circuit, where he defeated some of the toughest opponents. Despite his impressive list of achievements, Haggerty is just getting started. His hunger for success remains strong, and he is determined to continue building upon his legacy. While he has his sights set on transitioning into MMA, it wouldn't be surprising if he eventually finds himself in the UFC, a dream for many fighters. What lies ahead for Haggerty? A potential MMA title fight with Andrade seems likely. One thing is certain, though, we haven't seen the best of this man yet. If you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.